so there are a lot of things you do in this now on you under mute if you click the arrow there you have a lot of things to handle this is where you i can change my camera okay no my my audio i can choose to change audio change my microphone okay change my speaker I can decide i'm using a usb speaker i'm speaking uh my speaker is through usb i can decide to change it so because of um, this meeting i may not want to change it but you can change it if you are tired of listening through your headset you can move to the speaker and while you're having problem you can test your uh, speaker microphone while the meeting is going on but for the sake of this training we might not test it now under video to click a pointer you can i'm using two camera one is a live cam hd 3000 and a webcam all the, the other cameras are not on but i can decide to switch camera if i feel this camera i'm using is not okay okay i can i am using webcam I can decide to change to the webcam. This is the computer camera. Okay, it freezes my camera a bit. And uh, when it comes up, okay, um, why the camera is not up here? Is because it's being used by another app my laptop camera is being used by another app that's why you will not be able to see me but so let's switch back to the Microsoft camera okay click here and back to Microsoft camera so my camera is up again I can stop my video and um, under here you have reactions I can say something that you might want to clap you clap okay that means you appreciate what i said and um, you may stop you, okay you clap you can give me a thumb thumb up and and then you can as well uh share your screen here you can share your screen You see, when you have multiple participants, they can share simultaneously. What does many people can be sharing screen at the same time? Participant one can be sharing screen. Uh, participant two can be sharing screen at the same time. But we, for the sake of this meeting, we are not doing it. And um, you can also do advanced sharing option. Okay. You can decide how many people will share the screen here i am the only host the only host can share the screen so that's the option chosen okay now these are the options for sharing screen and i want to actually share my screen i want them to see what's going on on my desktop i want to explain certain things on my laptop to them so i want them to see what's going on on my laptop i click here you have screen if i want to share screen um i click on my screen i click on screen and click share okay now they, they are seeing what's going on on my screen and it will tell you you are sharing you are you are screen sharing so that you'll be aware you know at times you might have You might have a password which you will not want them to know and you forgot that you are sharing screen you might put it so it tells you you are screen sharing so you be aware of what you are doing and everything being done on my screen they will be seeing it okay anything done on my screen they will be seeing it then i'm sharing screen 
so they are seeing everything on my screen okay okay I will tell them maybe show them how to design something I'm showing them something on how to design so they watch it I'm gonna change this to okay color red okay and uh, want to delete this so I you might teach people through zoom what you are doing on your laptop have a training you are doing on laptop through zoom they connect and you teach them and when you are back end up the sharing you have an option to stop the share so i click on stop the share okay we are back to the normal zoom you can share even your iphone connected click there show somebody what's going on on your phone you can share your uh, what's going on on your android phone iphone and others okay and um, under security we've talked about it you can lock this meeting so that nobody enters you can share screen from here allow participants to share what you you do some settings here i can decide to um remove participants if a participant you feel it's not supposed to be in that meeting you can remove a participant click on it and you have the option to remove either participant 2 or participant 1 you can do it but we're not removing anyone we're not removing anyone i can stop the recording and um, if i want to exit the meeting just click end meeting you end the meeting end meeting for all can decide to leave or you can end meeting for all so everybody will end the meeting at once with you